in the woods Morning guys, Dave Canberra at the Pathfinder School. I wanted to show you guys a little piece of history today. I'm always interested in historical artifacts, especially if, as they have to do with bushcraft, survival, woodsmanship, and things like that. And I picked up a piece of memorabilia at an Army surplus store a week or two ago that I wanted to show you. And it comes from a C2 survival vest from a pilot's survival vest from World War II. And it's a piece of gear that's in that vest to affect survival on a life raft. And I wanted to kind of show this to you. It's pretty interesting. Give you some ideas maybe for something you can make yourself or ways to implement something like this in your own kit. So stay with me, guys, and we'll break it out. Okay, guys, this uh, piece of survival gear comes in two boxes that were evidently in the, in the survival vest that the pilot wore. One of them is a small tin in between the size of a mini Altoids tin and a large Altoids tin. And the other one is a cardboard box. And the cardboard box has some instructions on the outside that say spit assembly parts. It was made by Aircraft Specialty Company in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Basically what it is, is it is several sections of rod and I have not had this box open. So everything in here is going to be pretty well as it would be. I have had the tin open but not the box. Now some of this stuff is going to be have some wear on it obviously or some stuff that looks rusty probably or oxidized it's got metal caps in the end of the box here what you have is you have three pieces of sectioning here four actually pieces of sectioning that go together and the first intention of this was to screw this together I won't screw all four sections together for you all just leave it to the fact that it screws together all four sections and the last section becomes a tool that could be used for a spit to put game over the fire if you had two fork sticks like this. And it's got a very pointed end on it right here. And that could also be used for a digging tool or what have you. Now, the other portion of this kit, the box, so this tin came completely sealed with a piece of like 100 mile an hour duct tape around it and it had never been opened. I opened it up already to look at the contents on the inside and there are instructions on here that say how to use the spit and gaff assemblies very old the paper is almost like a parchment type paper in here try to keep from tearing this thing up so you guys can take a look at this it's really interesting to look at the way they meant this to be used for survival and it shows you the components that are inside the kit and then how to assemble them to use them for a fishing gaff, a fishing spear, a spit for cooking food, and then the short assemblies. And then you've got a couple things of a, a little cartoon of two guys in a life raft. One of them is fishing, and one of them is actually holding out a flare with one end of this device so that he can hold the flare away from the raft as it's burning. And then it shows how to assemble the hook right here with a gaff. So what you have inside this tent is you have a broadhead type spear which can be screwed into any of these components just like that to be used as a short spear for spearing fish evidently beside the raft and you have several components inside here to include an eye that's meant to be used for a fishing eye if you put it here or it could be screwed onto this portion to be used to hang the large hook off of and the way that works is from what I can tell you have alignment notches in here that these three pieces go into and this thing's pretty well oxidized so I'm gonna have to work it a little bit probably there it goes and you've got three hook devices in here that actually go into this just like this and they channel lock into each other like that and you have three of those and then when you screw this down on top it locks so this would be your locking mechanism here that would lock that in place so you have three fish hooks on there to make a gaff or a fish hook device obviously it would take a pretty big fish to get on that but 
around life rafts and things like that, you know, you tend to get sharks and things like that to come around. So you could use these bigger hooks for things like that. So you've got three of those hooks that assemble onto this gaff assembly. And then you also have a fishing eye. And the gaff assembly part right there. And then you have the three hooks in this tin as well and a broadhead. So it's a pretty, for the time period and for what they had, you know, it's a pretty versatile small kit for survival in a life raft. I thought it was really interesting. I wanted to show you guys this today. Um, lots of guys seem to be very interested in history just like I am, especially when it comes to, like I said, bushcraft and survival and things like that. But I was really keen when I found this kit. He had two of them. I actually bought two and gave one of these to my buddy Derek Ferrier. They, I paid five dollars a piece for these kits, guys. To me, that was worth every bit of five bucks just to put that thing, you know, up somewhere in a display case and never take it out or use it, but just for the memorabilia sake of it. Now, I think that it's going to be kind of a pain to get this back in here probably because there is a metal sleeve in there that this side fits into. So, but you can see that there is instructions on here. There's breathe holes here. So it doesn't hold moisture inside there and it can dry out and it's stapled together right there. The box is not in too bad a shape. The tin was in really good shape. And here's the other end of that metal cap that these parts actually slide into like this. So I'll probably have to take the other metal cap out of the other end to get that back in there. And then slide the whole unit in the box. Okay, there you can see I've got both of the metal ends out of that box. Tuck the pieces back in. And that should slide back inside the box all as one unit at that point just like that and then just fold the ears back in there it's just like it came and there we go well, guys I appreciate you joining me for this short video today on this piece of historical survival memorabilia from World War II I appreciate everything you do for me, for my school, for my family. I thank you for all the support that you give to me, my affiliates, my school, and all of my friends. I'll be back with another video as soon as I can. Thanks, guys.